no one saw it coming. One moment, space was empty. The next, something impossible was racing toward us at 130,000 miles per hour, and it wasn't supposed to exist. When scientists finally looked inside this alien visitor, what they found broke every rule we thought we knew about the universe. Materials older than our sun, chemistry that shouldn't be possible, and organic compounds so alien that our labs don't even have names for them. This is 3I-ATLAS, the third interstellar object to ever visit our solar system. But what's inside it is about to change everything. Because what scientists just discovered isn't just from another star system, it might be older than Earth itself. And if they're right about what they've found, then everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe was wrong. Join us as we reveal the terrifying secrets hiding inside this cosmic time bomb. But I'm warning you right now. Once you hear what's really inside 3 i slash a t l a s you'll never look at the night sky the same way again. July this year. Chile. The Atlas Telescope was doing routine scans when something appeared on their screens that made no sense. An object moving wrong, way, way wrong. Everything in our solar system follows the rules. Planets orbit, asteroids drift, comets swing around our sun and come back. But this thing? This thing was breaking physics. It was moving so fast that our sun's gravity couldn't even touch it. Like a bullet fired through our cosmic neighborhood by some unseen hand. And it was glowing, actively spitting out a tail of gas and dust millions of miles long. Within hours, every telescope on Earth was pointed at this intruder. What they saw sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. This wasn't just another space rock. This was a messenger, a cosmic time capsule that had been wandering through the void for longer than anyone dared imagine. Scientists immediately knew they were looking at something that shouldn't exist. But when they started digging deeper, when they started analyzing what was actually inside this thing, that's when the real nightmare began, because what they found inside 3i slash ATLAS didn't just come from another star system. Some of the materials inside this thing are older than our entire solar system. Older than Earth. Older than everything we know. We're looking at alien chemistry, and it's racing through our backyard at unimaginable speed. This isn't the first time something alien has invaded our space. 2017 Oumuamua, a cigar-shaped object that tumbled through our solar system like a cosmic dagger. Scientists couldn't figure out what it was made of, couldn't understand why it was accelerating. Some whispered it might be artificial, a probe, a scout. 2018 Borisov, another visitor, but this one looked more familiar, more like our comets. Scientists breathed a sigh of relief. Maybe the universe wasn't so alien after all. They were wrong, because 3 i slash a t l a s just shattered every assumption we had about what's lurking between the stars. One visitor looked like a spaceship. One looked ordinary. But this third one, this third one is the strangest of them all. And what's inside it is rewriting the rules of reality. Oumuamua disappeared before we could study it properly. Borisov gave us hints. But 3i slash ATLAS. 3i slash ATLAS is an open book written in a language we're only just beginning to understand. And every page tells the same terrifying story. We are not alone in this galaxy. We never were. And the things floating between the stars have been watching our cosmic neighborhood for far longer than we ever imagined. But here's what's really keeping scientists awake at night. If we've detected three visitors in just eight years, how many more are out there? How many ancient wanderers are silently drifting through space, carrying secrets from dead civilizations and extinct stars? When the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye in the sky, turned toward 3i slash ATLAS, something unprecedented happened. The data broke their computers, not literally. But the chemical signatures coming back from this interstellar wanderer were so impossible, so alien, that scientists had to rewrite their analysis software just to process what they were seeing. 
Inside 3 I slash ATL AS, they found carbon dioxide levels that shouldn't exist. Eight times more CO2 than water. That's like finding a desert buried inside an iceberg. It violates every rule of comet formation we've ever discovered. But that was just the beginning. The organic compounds inside this thing are unlike anything in our solar system. Complex molecules that our labs don't have names for. Chemistry that shouldn't be possible under any conditions we understand. And then came the really terrifying discovery. Some of these materials are older than our sun. Let that sink in. While our solar system was still a swirling cloud of dust and gas, this thing was already fully formed, already wandering through space, already carrying the chemical fingerprints of civilizations that might have lived and died before Earth was even born. Scientists are calling it a cosmic fossil, but fossils are dead things. This, this is very much alive, still changing, still evolving as it races through our solar system. Hubble revealed something even more disturbing, a teardrop-shaped cocoon of dust peeling away from the nucleus like layers of alien skin. And every layer tells a different story, a different chapter in this thing's impossible journey through the cosmos. We're not just looking at a comet, we're looking at a time machine. And what it's showing us about the ancient universe is keeping scientists awake at night. Here's where things get absolutely terrifying. 3i slash ATLAS might be older than our entire solar system. Think about that for a second. While Earth was nothing but cosmic dust, this thing was already exploring the galaxy. It witnessed the birth of our Sun, the formation of our planets, the emergence of life on Earth, the rise and fall of the dinosaurs, the evolution of humanity, all while silently drifting through the endless void between stars. But how is that even possible? How does something survive for billions of years in the frozen wasteland of interstellar space? Scientists believe 3 i slash ATLAS formed around an ancient star that lived and died long before our sun was born. When that star went supernova, it flung objects like this into the cosmic deep freeze where they wandered in darkness for eons. This thing has been traveling through space for so long that entire civilizations could have risen and fallen while it drifted between the stars. It's seen the birth and death of countless worlds. It might have passed through star systems we'll never even know existed. And now it's here, in our backyard, carrying secrets from the dawn of time. But here's what's really making scientists lose sleep. The organic compounds inside 3 i slash ATLAS don't match anything we've ever seen. They're not just different they're impossible. They shouldn't exist under any natural conditions we understand, unless they're not natural. Some researchers are whispering theories they're afraid to publish. What if 3 i slash ATLAS isn't just a comet? What if it's something else entirely? A probe, a message, a warning. The chemistry inside this thing is so complex, so organized, that some scientists are wondering if we're looking at the remains of technology ancient technology from a civilization that died before our sun was born. And if that's true, then what we're seeing isn't just alien chemistry. It's alien intelligence, frozen for billions of years, but still intact, still analyzable, still watching us study it. Every day, 3 i slash ATLAS becomes more impossible. As it races toward our sun at speeds that defy comprehension, Something horrifying is happening. It's changing, evolving, revealing layers of chemistry that shouldn't exist in the same object. The tail isn't just water vapor and dust like normal comets. It's streaming with exotic gases that our instruments can barely detect. Molecules so complex they're breaking our analysis equipment. Chemistry so alien that scientists are running out of words to describe it. But here's the really terrifying part. These compounds shouldn't exist together. Under any natural conditions, they would have destroyed each other billions of years ago. Yet here they are, locked inside this ancient wanderer, preserved like specimens in some cosmic laboratory. It's as if this thing is a museum, a collection of impossible chemistry from across the galaxy, gathered by some intelligence we can't comprehend, and sent drifting through space 
for reasons we're afraid to imagine. The Gemini telescope captured images that are keeping researchers awake at night. Multicolor photos that show three I slash ATLAS changing in real time as our sun's heat awakens materials that have been frozen for longer than Earth has existed. Each color represents different chemistry, different impossible reactions, different proof that we're not dealing with anything natural. Scientists describe watching three I slash ATLAS as like watching alien geology in action. But geology implies natural processes. What if what we're seeing isn't natural at all? What if we're watching technology wake up? The spectral analysis reveals compounds that react to heat in ways that suggest deliberate design, layers that peel away in specific sequences, chemical reactions that seem almost intentional. Some researchers are now suggesting that 3i slash ATLAS might not be alone, that there could be thousands of these ancient wanderers drifting through space, each one carrying its own impossible cargo of alien chemistry. A fleet of cosmic time capsules launched by civilizations so ancient that they predate everything we know about the universe. And they're all heading somewhere. Right now, across the globe, scientists are in full panic mode. Not because 3 I slash ATLAS is dangerous, though some are starting to wonder about that too, but because we're running out of time. This thing will reach its closest approach to our sun in just months. After that, it will begin its journey back out of our solar system, accelerating to speeds that will make it impossible to track. And once it's gone, it's gone forever. This is humanity's only chance to study an object this ancient, this alien, this impossible, and we're blowing it. Space agencies around the world are scrambling to redirect missions to point every available instrument at this cosmic time bomb before it disappears. The European Space Agency is considering emergency protocol changes. NASA is analyzing whether they can intercept it with a probe. But here's the nightmare scenario that's keeping mission planners awake. What if we're not studying a comet at all? What if 3i slash ATLAS is studying us? Think about it. An object older than our solar system suddenly appears, racing through our cosmic neighborhood, revealing impossible chemistry as it goes. What are the odds that this is random? What are the odds that this ancient wanderer just happened to show up now when we finally have the technology to analyze it? Some scientists are whispering about patterns, about how 3i slash ATLAS seems to be revealing its secrets in exactly the right sequence, as if it wants to be studied, as if it's trying to tell us something. The data coming back is so complex that it will take decades to analyze. But already patterns are emerging. Messages hidden in the chemistry. Sequences that seem almost like communication. Emergency telescope time is being allocated around the clock. The world's most powerful instruments are pointed at this single object, recording every photon, every molecule, every impossible reaction. Because scientists know this might be our only chance to make contact with intelligence older than our world. The discoveries inside 3i slash ATLAS aren't just advancing science, they're destroying everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe. For the first time in human history, we're analyzing matter from another star system. But it's not just alien matter, it's organized alien matter. Chemistry so complex and deliberate that it suggests design. The organic compounds detected inside this ancient wanderer aren't random. They're structured, they're information, and some researchers believe they might be trying to communicate. But here's what's really terrifying. If 3i slash ATLAS is artificial, if it's some kind of probe or message from an ancient civilization, then we're not dealing with our cosmic equals. We're dealing with intelligence so advanced, so ancient, that it existed billions of years before Earth was even formed. And it's been watching us. The chemical signatures inside this thing suggest it's been designed to survive interstellar travel for geological ages. The only reason to build something like that is if you're planning for the extremely long term. If you're trying to outlast the death of stars, the collapse of civilizations, the end of worlds. What kind of intelligence thinks on those timescales? 
what kind of civilization builds machines that can operate for billions of years, and what are they trying to tell us? Some researchers are now convinced that 3i slash ATLAS is part of something larger, a network of ancient probes scattered throughout the galaxy, each one carrying messages from civilizations so old they might as well be gods. The really terrifying part? We've only detected three interstellar visitors in eight years, but our detection technology is primitive. How many more are out there, silently drifting through space, carrying their impossible cargo of ancient intelligence? Hundreds? Thousands? Millions? And they're all heading somewhere, following some vast, incomprehensible plan laid down by minds that predate everything we know. As 3i slash ATLAS races away from our sun and back into the cosmic void, one terrifying question remains unanswered. Why now? Why did this ancient wanderer choose this moment in human history to reveal itself? Why did it wait until we finally developed the technology to study it before making its presence known? The timing isn't random. Nothing about 3i slash ATLAS is random. This thing has been out there for billions of years. It could have passed through our solar system when Earth was a molten ball of rock, when the dinosaurs ruled, when our ancestors were learning to make fire. But it waited. It waited until we could understand what we were seeing, until we could analyze its impossible chemistry, until we could decode the messages hidden in its alien structure. It waited until now. And as it disappears back into the endless night between stars, carrying its secrets with it, one final thought should chill you to the bone. If this ancient probe found us, what else is out there, silently watching from the cosmic dark? How many other impossible visitors are drifting through space, waiting for the right moment to reveal themselves? And what happens when they decide we're ready for the next message? The universe just got a lot more crowded and a lot more terrifying. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to sleep tonight, or if you're brave enough to learn what else is lurking between the stars.